Chachowska and today I will show you how to answer a question that involves probabilities of two dependent events. A box contains three pens, two markers and one highlighter. Once again, three pens, two markers and one highlighter. That means six items in total. Tara selects one item at random and does not return it to the box. Does not return it means that it's going to be two dependent events. Outcome of the second event will depend on the outcome of the first one. Then she selects a second item at random. What is the probability? That means probability is what you need to find. That Tara selects one pen and then one marker. What we're looking for is probability that she selects one pen, does not return it, and then picks a marker. Okay, let's look at our individual probabilities first. We'll have two events. Probability of selecting a pen. She has three pens out of a total of six items. So the probability will be three out of six, which by the way is equivalent to one half. Now, she does not return it. That means she picks a pen and the number of pens goes down to two because she picks one. She did not pick a marker, so the number of markers stays the same at two, and she did not touch the highlighter, so it's still one highlighter. Two plus two plus one gives us five items in total. Now she has to select a marker. We have two markers out of a total of five items, so our probability here will be two out of five, or two-fifths. Now, once you have your individual probabilities, you need to multiply them to figure out the combined probability. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30. This is not in simplest form, however, you need to look at your multiple choice options and see if this is one of them. In fact, C is exactly 6 out of 30, so you do not have to worry about reducing this fraction.